The butter. What? I literally, they must have just discovered that. That's so gross. I literally used this butter like yesterday. Looks and... like a trap. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to the vlog. Oh, show them. Do you show guys want to? just found. No, 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 just use, move the Wait, camera Wait, hold down. on, hold on. So I just bought this beautiful ceramic butter keeper. And um, fortunately we're dealing with an ant issue. And it has literally trapped all of those ants. So that so is really, ant trap. that's a really gross. Oh, I'm so sad. I hope I can keep using this because. Oh, they're everywhere. I just bought this. Probably not. Anyway, it is Sunday. We just got back home from church. Kyle is the ant man. We are having ant issues. So he bought. Not enough. Lots of traps, so he's setting those up. But I thought I would attempt to make this recipe that I had at my friend's baby shower. It was so good. It is a babka. I don't know if that's I'm saying right. This one's a blueberry cream cheese, but the girl actually made she made a blueberry cream cheese one, but she made a second one that was like savory with cheese, rosemary, and herbs. And I like that one better, so I think I'm gonna attempt to make a cheesy, herby version of this. I'm gonna get started on this because it has to rise for two and a half hours, so maybe it'll be ready by tonight. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys some of my new little, like I got this butter keeper on Etsy. Then I also got these little, like this little ceramic egg holder from Urban Outfitters. It was on sale. So sweet. They also had these cute little berry holders at Urban Outfitters. I'll see if they're still available. They were on like mega sale, so they might have sold out. And then on our way home from church, we actually stopped at Lowe's and I got a little basil plant. The one outside, all of my herbs are just not doing too well. I'll have to give you guys an, a garden update. So I bought another one because I have this cute pot from Urban Outfitters as well that I want to keep inside. So I'm going to plant the, the basil in here just to have an easy access while I'm cooking. And then another thing I want to make is some passion fruit lemonade. So yes, we have a lot of stuff to do in the kitchen today. Use what? The kitchen. Oh, because it's filled with toxic products. Honestly. Toxic ant killing agents. Someone texted me, hi, and I have no idea who this is. Here's some other recent purchases from the same guy who does the butter keeper. It's a little salt bowl. And this is from Crate and Barrel, it's a spoon holder. So cute. I also need to make applesauce because I just picked all of these apples because the apple trees are just going off on the property, so. I don't know if I'll get around to that one today. It's actually pretty easy. So we will see. All right, I figure I'll do a little garden update. I also want to show you the dress that I'm wearing. It's a maxi length. But it's so cute. And these are all adjustable. And the material is like that gauze material, so it's super lightweight. I literally feel like I'm wearing a sleep, sleep dress. I'm here for it. This was a recent project we did. We just weeded this entire garden and then Kyle did most of the wood chipping. Um, and it looks so nice. But now to my garden. Oh, we also got, well, Kyle got a <laughs> workout bench, which we haven't used yet. And then I bought this little area rug from Costco just to put under it. So I guess this will be a dual patio for workouts and then I'm hoping to get like a comfortable couch to put here and like an area rug. Um, but this was only $20 at Costco and I feel like it's just perfect outdoor rug for like the workout section. But here are the garden beds. I planted these Cosmo starters and they've been blooming. It was so fun because I didn't know what colors that they were going to end up, but we got a bunch of cute ones and I've just been clipping these off and putting them in little bud vases around the house. 
jalapeno plant is doing amazing so many peppers some of them are coming out red which if you guys know why i tried to look it up but like it's like this one's brand new and it's already red because some people said it's because they're just like very like they're ready to go but i'm like you're brand new these flowers were just blooming like crazy. I need to, I think they just like, I don't think I need to deadhead them, but I think these ones, they just like come in spurts. So they'll die off and then create new blooms. Squash plant is not doing too good. It was, it was doing really well. And then I noticed, I'm not going to touch it because I think it can spread, but like all the leaves now think are infected so I might just have to exnay this whole plant because it was growing a bunch of squashes and it looks like they're all dying but the strawberry plant is producing I just ate my first one but like the ants are just attacking like so many ants on this one so I feel like I just kind of plop off the ones that are dying kind of try to lure them away but I was able to eat our first strawberry I'm actually debating taking out the marigolds so I can um, plant like these parts of the strawberry plant so it will produce even more tomato plant is kind of stagnant but it does have these that look like they're starting to ripen a little bit but it hasn't been growing much I might need to water everything more and I actually just bought these flowers I need to use my app to figure out what they are but they have pretty tall and sturdy stems so I think these will be perfect to add to bouquets I haven't planted them kale's doing good I think I actually need to like um, cut it off and actually use it so it'll continue to produce more because I have not used any of the kale yet um oh a basil plant is actually doing pretty well out here but cilantro is kind of dying oh wait no is this our basil plant no this is mint so the mint and cilantro is not very happy but our basil is doing really well and then here's the little side garden these Cosmos have been my favorite. They're an absolute joy to grow. They're so easy and they're so pretty. Definitely don't be afraid to like cut them off and take them inside because they grow back so fast. I don't think they need to be deadheaded either, but I'm just gonna pop these off. So I'm not like in love with the way everything looks, but things are growing. And this is a rose bush and it has grown so many new vines and leaves so it seems to be doing healthy. Oh, our first rose! What? Wait, this is the first flower. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, so I've been watering these and they're definitely growing a ton really quickly. I ended up getting like so tired and just wanted to chill the rest of the day. I didn't end up baking anything. I just made that lemonade and I um, later made dinner for us. But anyway, it is now Monday and it is 
almost 8 a.m. and I'm gonna start getting ready because I have a little life update. I actually got a part-time job. So I work Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. So I need to get ready. I fed the animals this morning and I just showered. I've been doing like robe curls. These ones kind of fell out. I think I might actually buy like the curl contraption because with the robe curls, they end up kind of more wavy, which is still pretty, but I want some of like the big, big curls. Hansel. Okay, so I got a job. Let me explain how this happened because it was pretty unexpected. But basically, the last few months, I've felt pretty disconnected from YouTube and filming. And it was really weighing heavy on me. I just didn't know. I had never felt like this before. Like, ever since I was in eighth grade, I've done YouTube and wanted to be a YouTuber and wanted to share my life. But recently, I felt just... I wanted to be more private. I don't know if I wanted people to know who I was or what's going on in my life. So it was just a really interesting shift and something I had never experienced before or talked through before. Um, and so I kind of just started questioning if I wanted to do it at all. And I was talking to my therapist about it. I was talking to Kyle about it and some friends. I, I noticed what had happened was I, I started to feel shameful, like there was something wrong with me for not wanting to be a YouTuber anymore because I know so many people would like kill to have YouTube be their full-time job. It's, it is such a blessing. There are really hard parts about it and I don't know how sustainable it is because it does feel like you're selling yourself to people which can just be hard but i started to feel really guilty and felt like i should want to do it just because everybody else would want it so i had started attending these women's groups and um, it was like really really weighing on me i was getting super frustrated and just feeling so heavy and torn up about it and i started talking to the women in the group just for prayer and advice and in two of the breakout groups was a woman named jess and i had heard of her in like her boutique before my friend had sent it to me and was like oh th this is based in maui you should follow them so i started following new flora which is the name of the brand um but i hadn't really met the owner in person until the women's group and so we were st in the same breakout groups two weeks in a row and she was there when I was sharing just about all this YouTube stuff. And she was like, hey, like, I don't know if this is something you'd be interested in, but we're hiring. And, you know, I know if you stop doing YouTube, there would be this question on how you're going to make money and all this stuff. So if you want a job or if you're looking for one, let me know and I'll send you the details. So she sent me all the details. Um, and I was like, hmm, okay, well, I'm not really looking for a job, but something felt good about it and I kind of felt God's hand on it and so I was like you know what just tell me more and we'll see what happens so she sent me all the details it was a full-time position and I think that alone I was like oh, I just really can't commit to a full-time job but if you guys need a part-time employee let me know because I can do all of the job descriptions that you guys are looking for and so she talked to her husband and business partners and they were able to change the job around a little bit to fit me in part-time so yeah I have been going for two weeks I think this is my third week working with them and basically I'm in charge of content creation um, processing new items helping with just marketing social media ideas and yeah it's stuff that I am very familiar with. I've done it for my own channel. I've done it for, um, like I've worked in marketing out of college and things like that and done a lot of internships in it. So it's been really fun to just have something to 
get ready for because I don't know, I'm not somebody who typically gets ready to film. I typically don't wear a lot of makeup or do my hair or get dressed to film. I'm just kind of like barefaced and you know, um, which I kind of want to start because then I think it'll feel more like, okay, I'm getting ready to film today. This is my job. Like, it'll feel more like a job. Um, but anyway, so I'm getting ready for work three days a week. I'm leaving the house, which is so nice um, because I've worked from home for like, I don't know, two years now, three years now, and I've worked alone as well. And so having like a team to like bounce ideas off of and be creative with, and also just work on something that, that doesn't revolve around me has been really refreshing. So I'm enjoying it so far. Definitely adjusting to like working more hours. I feel like anytime you get a new job, you have to adjust to like your body starts adjusting to like how much you're on your feet or being in an office or whatever the case is. But anyway, so yeah, I got a job. I'm probably talking so much that I don't even know what time it is. I need to start getting ready because she's going to pick me up. Oh, we still got an hour. She's going to pick me up in an hour. So I need to get dressed and do my makeup and have some breakfast um but i will leave a link to their website i'm sure some of you have heard of them before they're an amazing company and i just love the hansel i should have handsome just do an asmr video for you guys what did you just eat i love the brand they're all about building your wardrobe um, over time and not impulse shopping and just doing it really intentionally, which I think is so needed in today's market. And they have a ton of really high quality clothes. I get to be around all the clothes and I'm like, wow, I went in wearing this one dress. So I usually go in wearing my clothes and then once I get there, I change into their clothes um, because obviously I'm representing the brand and I haven't built up my pieces from them yet. So I was wearing this dress and I went into work and then I changed into one of their dresses and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like so much more comfortable than the dress I had on before. Like the fabric is way better. And so at the end of the day, when I had to turn, change back into my dress, I'm like, I really don't want to change back because like that one just feels so uncomfortable now. So Anyway, that's a topic for a whole nother video, but I want to do a video like finding my personal style and like cleaning out my closet and figuring all that out. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. But let's go get ready. You know, I feel like I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. We have a, actually a photo shoot. This is a not a typical day. Usually I would go into the office from nine to three, but we have a photo shoot tonight at five, I believe. So we're only going to be in the office nine to 12. We're going to pick out all the outfits for the photo shoot, do some planning, and then I'm going to come home and then I'm going to go back to be in the photos. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to get like fully ready because I think I'm going to come home and like do my hair later today for that. thought I would show you a little bit of what I'm doing for makeup. I've been using the Ilia Skin Tint and I really really like this this is like the closest like perfect match to my skin that i found i have st8 i actually just ordered a new bottle of this because i am basically out the only thing i don't love is the packaging because it gets all over everything i just don't know if i'm like maybe there's a few times that i didn't close it enough or i don't know what happened but that is my only complaint like it's super natural and then i also just ordered a new concealer i've been using a sample of this tart one and then on my lips i always use this nars lipstick in felbala sheer so it's like a sheer lipstick and i just love the consistency finished getting ready this is my outfit today the t-shirt is from new flora and then just these pants which i I think I got them from a boutique a long time ago and I love them, but I don't know where they're from, unfortunately. And then these sneakers by a brand called Cezanne, I believe. Just super casual because I know 
when I get there. I'm gonna change most likely anyway. Just getting my little backpack ready. How fun. My battery's gonna die and I need to leave for work. She's gonna be here any minute. Currently at work, we just rearranged the entire barn to be set up. because so this is also where they held the women's group. Um, but yeah, it looks so cute. All right, I just got back from work. It was a short day because we're going back for the photo shoot later. And my Sephora order came. Kosas Concealer. Uh-oh. Might have gotten it too dark. I never know what color to get for concealers. Refill on my foundation. Huda Banana Bread powder setting powder hmm, i feel like the concealers the undertones might be too warm for me shoots we don't have a sephora nearby so that kind of sucks i don't know how returns will work then i got a sample of the elia priming serum and a sample of bare minerals loose powder as well hmm. i feel like it might be too yellow Huh, interesting. But I think my camera died, so sorry if the quality changed. I'm on my phone now. Um, but now I'm going to make that babka. <laughs> I think that's how you say it, that I was mentioning yesterday. So I'm gonna start on the dough so it has enough time to rise and I should be able to make it and have it in the oven, in and out of the oven right before I leave for the photo shoot so I can eat some of it. <laughs> the dough to rise I think it's probably about 20 more minutes but I think I made a mistake and the butter was supposed to be softened but it was like pretty melted so I feel like it's not really rising that well but hopefully it'll still taste good then I started making applesauce I'm using my grandma's recipe we grew up eating like homemade applesauce for all of our holidays and stuff and we always love it so much and so i asked her for the recipe and it's so easy you literally just take apples like 15 to 20 apples cut them into small slices throw them in a pot with a little bit of water at the bottom so they don't stick and you just cook the apples and then you can sweeten it to taste with sugar i use cane sugar i think or coconut sugar and i'm adding cinnamon to mine and then she has like this special little tool, um, which I'm so sad because she says she has an extra one. That's my great grandmother's, which I wish I could have. That would be so sweet. I don't have one of those, so I'm gonna try. You can either peel the apples beforehand or you can wait till they're cooked and try to get them out. So that's like my next step. I think I'm just gonna try to use like a strainer and see if the peels will come out that way. But I'm so excited. Looking so good. shoot just put all these hot rollers in 
Um, so I'm probably just gonna leave these in until I leave. What is that makeup? And I probably need to touch up my makeup. All right, friends, I wanted to end the video. The photo shoot went really well. I'll put in some behind the scenes videos here. Um, and again, I'll have like the New Flora website and Instagram linked below if you wanna follow along on my new part-time job. I feel like, I feel like it's like my first job out of high school. And I'm sure a lot of you are watching this. Like, great, you started a job. You're packing your backpack, like, this is all normal stuff that so many of us do, but I literally have not had a job since I lived with my parents right before I met Kyle. So um, two years ago, probably two and a half years ago, I think that was, I worked as a waitress. So it's been fun. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys also about the recipe I tried. So what I did was put cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, rosemary, and oregano inside. And okay, it was pretty good, but the one she had at the party was just like so much better. I feel like she didn't do hers in the loaf pans. I think she just did it flat on a baking sheet because it was much like, it was so doughy and like you could just like pull it apart and it was cheesy because I actually used a YouTube video to teach me how to cut it and roll it and stuff because the directions were written out in the recipe so I think if I would have done the written recipe directions it would have been closer to hers but I used separate because I'm a visual learner so I had to watch a video in the end it was like mostly bread and like the top layer had a little bit of cheese and a little bit of cream cheese and so it just wasn't exactly what I was hoping for so I might attempt it again and follow the instructions <laughs> or just play, play around I don't know but I'll have the recipes linked below I also made chocolate chip curl I made chocolate chip cookies earlier in the video so I'll also have um, that recipe linked below because those are my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe that I found I've tried a few and that one's really good so if you like a soft and chewy cookie, but a little bit crispy on the outside, that's a good one that I'll have linked. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long, long time since I've uploaded. I've just, it's been kind of crazy. Lots of things have been going on behind the scenes with starting a new job, working on the farm and health things. Um, oh, so yeah, I was going to post like this whole life update video i have it ready in the back end but you know it was just like kind of sad and i just didn't want to post it so i decided to kind of maybe update you guys over time so today like my big life update was the job and then i want to talk about like an update about working on the farm um soon as well so yeah look forward to that but i love you guys and remember jesus loves you more